Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're interviewing Rob Cummins, the founder and CEO of Urban.io. Rob, thank you so much for joining us today. You work in the IoT space, which is really exciting for a lot of our viewers. So for those who don't know, what is IoT? Hey, Ali. So it's a kind of a really well-used term that everyone sort of bandies around. IoT is pretty simple. It's the internet of things. And if you think about uh, back in the day, the internet was kind of like web pages and routers and stuff like that. The internet of things is where everything in the world or stuff that you interact with on your day-to-day -day basis is actually connected to the internet. And by connecting them to the internet, then you can make those things um, more optimized or all the sorts of benefits that you get when you're actually doing stuff in an internet-based model. Thank you. I mean, it's so interesting that technology can be used in such a creative way. And Rob, what IoT services do you provide your customers with at Urban.io? Well, so we focus on the bit that, so if you think about, there's a lot of things in the world. So that's the big stuff. We, we focus on things that are actually in hard to reach places. So I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, if you had a mining site and there was a motor out in the middle of nowhere, that would be a thing that is in a hard to reach place. And that mining company really cares about that motor, but they find it difficult to connect. So what we do is we make sensors, wireless sensors that can be stuck onto these things and they actually work in really harsh environments and they will actually collect data about the thing that you care about and bring it back to the cloud where you can then do remote monitoring and analysis to make sure that the thing that you care about is running well. Mm, thank you so much. I like that you brought some toys as well. Boy. <laughs> And Rob, your solutions can quite literally save buildings from being damaged. Um, and you did share a really cool example when we were on the phone the other day of how your sensors can temperature monitor to avoid this. So can you tell me a little bit more about this case study? What do you mean save a building from being damaged? <laughs> well, so the building we're talking about, uh, we've been working with a company in the flour milling industry. And, you know, obviously flour makes bread and bread's great for kids having sandwiches. We all think they're pretty innocuous. But actually, flour in a mill can be highly flammable and, in fact, can explode. And in the worst case, you can literally burn a flour mill down if it gets too hot or if the milling machines get too hot. And they can actually explode, as in, like, blow the entire side of the building out in a very, very catastrophic example. So uh, we are actually working with a manufacturing company here in Australia uh, at the moment. And... They have lots of flour milling machines and they've got lots of mills all around the country. Uh, each of these mills is kind of about the same size as a large desk and they've got rollers inside them that spin around and flour goes through it and it gets hot over time, hotter, hotter, hotter. If it's not detected in time and they don't clean the rollers, they can actually catch fire and cause this explosion. So we consider that to be a perfect example of a, a thing that's important in a hard to reach place because they're scattered around everywhere. They're not connected to anything. They're hard to connect. And so we've got a bunch of temperature sensors, not dissimilar to these ones, which they are literally clipping onto the sides of their milling machines and putting a probe next to the roller. And what it does, roller spins, temperature sensor says, hey, this is getting a bit hot. And then that triggers an alarm. And the maintenance people who are responsible for that can then go and attend the roller, ergo preventing fire, ergo preventing building blowing up with people going over. Not quite that dramatic, but uh, it's a it is a it's a difficult problem for them to solve cost effectively. And, and our job is to help them kind of connect with those things in hard to reach places with our with our IoT solution. Wow. I mean, it's incredible. You're, that is so cool. I love that story. And it's so cool to see how you're helping everyday companies with what you would think would be a super simple solution, but it hasn't been thought of. So yeah. finally, yeah. I know that Urban.io has a range of IT solutions, which customers can purchase via our marketplace. So can you tell us a little bit more about this? If someone's interested in what you're saying, what is marketplace? How do they reach you? Tell us more. No worries. So one of the things about IoT, uh, because these are non-standard network deployments, you never really know how many sensors you need and how big the network has to be, and they're all in these scattered places. There's often lots of different variables that are difficult to quantify, and that makes it difficult for a client to work out how expensive it's going to be to define their business case. So what we've done is we've taken what is traditionally like a hardware sale, like a physical widget, 
And we actually sell the entire IoT network as a subscription via marketplace. Mm -hmm. So for if you're an AWS client and you're, you're, you're buying AWS services, you can literally go into marketplace and say, I want to buy a subscription for 100 temperature sensors. We send them out. All of the network, everything is included for a fixed price per month. And that means that people that are purchasing, it's a really simple purchase, obviously, uh, easy to plug into their existing I, uh, AWS environment and uh, easy for them to forecast sales because it's, or sorry, their expenditure, because it's a fixed price, no matter what it is, wherever it is with no hidden costs. And so simplifying both the connectivity and the purchasing side of it as well. Oh, awesome. I love that. Keep it simple. Thank you so much, Rob. I mean, I, for one, have always been interested in IoT, but didn't quite know exactly what you guys do. So thank you so much for coming on the show. And to all our viewers at home, we'll see you next time. And if you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. Thanks. Thanks.